And welcome back. My next guest is one third of the country music's wonderful band called Rascal Flats that you know well. But in his brand new memoir, and it's called Shotgun Angels, My Story of Broken Roads and Unshakable Hope, he reveals the tough road that he traveled to reach success. Would you please welcome Mr. Jay DeMarcus. Jay, thanks for being Thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you. I think a lot of people are going to read your book, and they're going to be very surprised that you were not an overnight success. Everybody thinks, oh, yeah, Rascal Flatts, boy, they, you know, they're just amazing. Yeah. Hadn't been that easy, has it? No, it's really tough to make it in the music business. I don't know if that's new news to anyone or not, <laughs> but it's extremely tough. And, you know, I thought that I was doing so well. I got a record deal right out of college in a Christian band called East to West. Kind of screwed some things up with that, lost that record deal really quickly, and didn't know what I was going to do. And I found myself in a really dark place in my life that I had to dig really deep to even figure out if I believed everything that I had gone to church believing all of those years as a kid. My mom was the kind of mom that would drag us off three and four times a week to church. It seemed a little excessive at the time. <laughs> but what I didn't realize is that she was planting very deep seeds in me that would take strong root later on in life. And when I found myself not knowing where to turn or what to do living here in Nashville and starving, living hand to mouth, uh, I had to dig really deep and figure out that I did believe that there was a God. I did believe that there was a higher purpose for what I was doing and to stay the course, to keep getting back up, dusting myself off, facing another day, another week, another month. One of the things, and I hope it's not an overly sensitive thing, but you put it in your book, so I guess it's fair game. It's out there. Uh, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> but it was a very poignant story of a former uh, girlfriend mm -hmm. with whom you had a less than delightful breakup. Yeah. And you told that story with such honesty. And I thought, Thank wow, you. not many people could be that vulnerable. And I thought it was powerful because you shared and bared part of your soul in telling that. Was it hard to get that honest with the readers and to put that down and, and tell those stories? A lot of times we see our favorite actors and entertainers and musicians, anybody that we look up to that's doing well, you see the culmination of a lot of hard work and a lot of crap that they've been yeah. through to get to that point. And I've always said this, and one of the main things that I try to drive home, I've been a believer my whole life, and it doesn't mean that I haven't made mistakes. It doesn't mean that I don't continue to make mistakes. What it means to be a believer for me is that we recognize that we're all fallen, flawed human beings that need help. Mm. Well, one of the things I thought was so powerful, even about including that story, it was like that was the end of your world. Yeah. And then the next chapter comes, you meet this wonderful woman who becomes your wife yeah. now and two lovely daughters. And so, yeah, that was a painful period, but it opened the door to something far more wonderful than what you uh, had, had thought was, that's it, nothing left of, of Jay DeMarcus. That's right. And if someone would have told me when I lost my first record deal and didn't know where I was going and wanted to move back home, that Rascal Flats was in my future and that I would be blessed the way I've been blessed throughout my life and career up to this point, I would have laughed. But that's the point of finding the hope, finding the determination and the tenacity to keep moving forward and to keep going. Jay, for the people who don't know, where did the name Rascal Flats come <laughs> from? Well, we uh, had a record deal. We were getting ready to release our first single and had no name for the band. And there was an old fellow that used to come in to see us play around town named Jelly Roll. And he would sit at the end of the bar every night we would play. And one particular night, we kept announcing from the stage, if anybody has any ideas for names, please let us know because we're stuck. We're putting the first <laughs> single out, we don't have a name. So Jelly Roll walks up to me and he goes, hey, uh, I had a band back in the late 60s and we played garage uh, music and some dances and whatnot. And we called ourselves Rascal Flats. And by God, you <laughs> boys look like Rascal Flats to me. And you can have that name. <laughs> And honestly, that's how it happened. That's how it happened. We still don't know what it means. Uh, no idea what it means. I thought you were going to tell me that your first band name was Jelly Roll, and yeah. you decided that wasn't working out, so you went to Rascal Flats. Jay, yeah. I love the book. It Thank is you. powerful. If people are hurting, this is a great book for them to find hope, and everybody needs Thank hope. Uh, I got one favor. Yes. You got to bring the rest of the band back, and you guys need to play on our show. I'll do it. All right. You got it. I would love I've to. Got, I've got you on yeah. record. On record here, the book is called Shotgun Angels. It is available everywhere. And you can follow Jay on Twitter, Jay DeMarcus. You can keep up with the band at rascalflats.com. And I hope you will.